Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. So let's talk about something I've never talked about. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'll tell you what, it looks awfully fun. Cricket. Naveed Ahmad is joining us right now, right here from Northeastern Pennsylvania. And Naveed, uh, I got to see you guys kind of playing some cricket at the Wyoming Valley Sports Dome, and I was really interested. I came over and said hello, and uh, boy, you guys look like you you have it together, and you have a, a nice following there of guys that love to play the game. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It was nice uh, for you to come by and you know try to learn the game. That's what we've been trying to do is to get uh, more people involved in this, uh, and uh, so it was nice for you to have to come in and ask a few questions, so we appreciate that. Let's talk about the game of cricket. You know, people have seen it on TV and say, wait, what is that? But it's becoming more and more popular in the world. And uh, here in America itself, I think people are kind of like very interested. It looks awfully challenging when you watch all the motions that you guys have and different things. It looks it looks like a special game. But uh, give us a little background on cricket. Yeah, so cricket has been here for, you know, a few centuries. Uh, I mean, if you go back and look at... Uh, just Google it. I mean, they'll say that this started in the 16th century uh, among the French. But officially, uh, where the Cricket Council started, the International Cricket Council, the ICC, I think that was around 1877. And I think the first uh, official match that was played was between England and um, Australia. It used to be called a gentleman's game because they used to have tea breaks and uh, like, you know, British people do. But it has actually caught up uh, pretty much all over the world. And I think, if I'm not wrong, ICT website says that there are around 105 countries that have uh, officially registered to play cricket. And it's, I think it's the second most uh, popular game uh, outside of soccer uh, around the I mean, which has uh, a great number of followings uh, outside of soccer. And two things I think you can think of off the top of your head to break down some barriers you know, people have in this world about uh, people that play different things or do different things in life, sports and food. And uh, one thing is to kind of get people to learn your the, the sport uh, that you play and then uh, you know, maybe get some people here in uh, northeastern Pennsylvania that are interested in it that never played it before. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you actually, if you want to simplify it, because, um, I, I, you know, we've Sport is sport. I mean, anybody who loves one sport loves uh, all sports, and you know we all spend a lot of time uh, watching ESPN all the day, all day long. So it's just you know what you're accustomed to. I come from uh, Pakistan. Uh, most of our local club members are usually foreign, foreign uh, foreigners who have settled here who are now American citizens who you know played this game when they were child uh, in Pakistan or India or Australia or England, uh, Sri Lanka. We have you know people from Sri Lanka who also are part of our league. But it's very similar. I mean, not too similar, but it has some similarities to uh, baseball. I mean, there's a pitch involved, there's a ball involved, there's a bat involved. You have fielders who are trying to catch the ball. You have a catcher uh, behind the plate. So it has some similarities. But like you must have seen, John, uh, John when you uh, came up to the dome, uh, it is not that, you know, it's not completely like baseball. It has different motions, like you suggested. Uh, but it is a very interesting game. It would be awesome if people interested to know about this and they wanted to ask questions and come play with us that would be that would be great well now Vid, yeah you have such a, a great group of guys there that uh, look like you have some some great camaraderie <laughs> first thing i'm thinking about seeing some of these guys running around I'm like okay that looks like i could pull a muscle doing that uh talk about <laughs> some of the fun you have you know hitting the hitting it and running around and uh, you know what are some of the instruments you use i mean basically is it called the bat is it called the ball there are different names for the stuff yeah, yes. It's, 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 the field is uh, it's pretty, you know, depends on where you're playing. Um, you know, we play at the Dome in the winter, but we have a couple of uh, grounds uh, in at Mountaintop, um, and we actually been uh, trying to uh, start a club and you know, have a, uh, our own official cricket ground. And we, we have been in talks with New Angola County to give us one official field. And they've been nice. We are in, you know, the initial stages of getting that ground, but... Uh, uh, the fields are of different sizes. They can be 60 yards. They can be 100 yards. Uh, just like a pitcher, uh, there is. A, we don't call him a pitcher. We call him a bowler. But like in baseball, you have a pitcher standing on the mound and you know throwing the ball. In cricket, you, the pitcher or the bowler kind of runs some. Uh, depending on how fast he pitches, some people uh, run from 10 yards. Some people run back from 40 yards and throw the ball. 
Um, and just like you have a batsman, a batter in baseball, there's a batsman. But like you have an invisible plate in baseball, which is a strike zone. In cricket, there is a wicket, which is basically three stumps, wooden stumps, uh, close to each other. And the pitcher or the bowler has to make sure he hits the uh, stump to for the batsman to be out. Uh, in baseball, you get three strikes. In cricket, you get just get one. <laughs> but similar to uh, similar to baseball, uh, you can hit the ball, and if we if a, a, ca- a fielder or a catcher catches it, he, he's out also. Um, so it has some similarities. The, the catcher behind the plate in baseball is very close to the um, so called so called invisible uh, play. I mean, the invisible uh, strike zone. We call him the wicket keeper because uh, the stumps are actually wickets. And he's called the wicket keeper because he's standing behind the wicket. Wow, very, so it very. Has, it has those similarities, yeah. And here it depends on how fast you bowl. Some people bowl uh, 40 miles an hour. Some people bowl, you know, there are, there are bowlers in this world who bowl 150 kilometers uh, or, you know, 100 miles an hour. Um, and, the, you know, the, the size of the ball is pretty similar. The weight of the ball is very similar to baseball. It, I think baseball is five and a one third ounce in the cricket ball is five and a half or five and three four um ounce in weight. Um and some people who pitch or who bowl um make the ball turn. So it's not that the ball is gonna come straight. It'll it'll pitch on the field and it may turn right, it may turn left and now you have to guess where the ball's gonna go and try and hit it. And you only get one chance to hit it. So are there uh, do you get Outs are there? Th- what what is that called if uh, if you don't do well and and how long before the other team gets to get up there and and do their turn? Yeah, so there are different formats. I mean, there are different formats in cricket, but every team is made up of eleven playing members, eleven playing players. Um, so everybody shows up with eleven players, and uh, so everybody bats. So all the eleven players would get to bat. But like you know, like we were talking about it, if you get out once, it's just one strike, and you're out. And depends on the format you're playing in. There, there are five day games which are long. There is a 50 over game, uh, and there's a 20 over game. And 20 overs are basically one, if one person comes and pitches six balls a, at one time, that's one over. So one over is six pitches. And then once you pitch your six balls, now a different pitcher comes in and now he pitches six balls. So there's, that's one over. So depending on how much time you have, like we play, uh, locally, but when we go out and play like real matches with different teams, we play 10 over games, we play 20 over games, but when we're playing locally as friends, uh, playing each other, we usually play like 10 overs, like we were at the, the Dome. And that usually takes an hour for one team to bat, and then once you've played out your 10 overs, uh, then the other team comes in and bat. So unless all your 11 batsmen were out during that 10 overs, you get to play out all those 10 overs. Uh, but if you get if your team kind of is not doing good and uh, there's a good pitcher on the other good bowler on the other team and he gets your entire team out before you even play out the ten overs, then the next team comes in and plays now. And it, in those ten overs or whatever the duration of uh, the game you have picked out, you have to score as many runs. So, for example, in baseball you score four runs, but while in cricket in a ten over game you can score 140 runs. Um, and now the other, the idea would be the other team will come to them back next for them to score one more run than you. So then they will win. So if you scored 140, the target for the other team would be 141. Interesting stuff. Naveed Ahmad joining us here on the John Mandola Show as we talk about the game of cricket and as it relates to uh, guys here in northeastern Pennsylvania that play it and uh now, we talk about the traveling part of it. Uh, how far do you guys travel to play, or, or do you know friends from uh, you know different parts of Pennsylvania, or whether it's New Jersey or New York? Like, uh, how do you do get-togethers to play games? Sure. I mean, first I'll let you. I'll kind of introduce my uh, the, sort of the position uh, holders of this club. We started this club uh, probably five years ago with six or seven of us guys uh, just trying to do something locally and have fun. But now we have around 30 to 40 members uh, of the club, and it's called the Northeast Pennsylvania Cricket Club, uh, the NEPA Cricket Club. Uh, we have uh, uh, players from different countries, from India, from Pakistan, from Sri Lanka. Um, so everybody who you know kind of hears about it, uh, reads about it on the website, uh, calls us, and then starts you know uh, comes in and plays with us. Uh, our four 
position like the, the president is Anas Ansari. Uh, he's a computer analyst, uh, analyst, um, software engineer. Uh, the vice president is Arthur Chaudhary. He, he runs a business. Um, and then we have general secretary and a financial office of these who's also, uh, is in textile and runs business and Zohair, uh, Bayabani, who's also a computer, uh, software engineer. But most, if we have people, uh, guys from different occupations, a lot of them, a lot of us are physicians like myself. Um, I think probably like 30%, 30 to 40% of the members are physicians, but they are software engineers, they are businessmen from different variety of, you know, uh, occupations. We're all there. So now we kind of know each other. This game has actually brought us all close together. We try to do community events. We try to bring in our families. So just because of the love of the game or the love of sports, people have now, you know, we have kind of got to know each other better. We have now become uh, friends. Uh, and we have met people we probably wouldn't have ever met in our lives uh, just through sports. And, and that's, that's the beauty of sports. That's the beauty of cricket as well. Um, and just to answer your question, so when we find out we are different teams in like King of Prussia, in Philadelphia, in New Jersey, um, they read about us, they read our website, and you know, it's the word of mouth. People hear about it and, and say, hey, we have heard about this team in Wolfsburg or Scranton uh, or Mountain Top, but we represent those three areas. They call us and they say, hey, are you interested in coming over? So we have traveled to Allentown, we have traveled to New Jersey, we have traveled to King of Prussia. We have a game in New York uh, this summer. So we travel, um, you know, as much as we can. We'll probably, you know, we'll see who's available and we'll take a team of 11 or 12 guys and travel to those, pla- uh, those uh, places and play those teams. And vice versa, we have had teams from other um, cities come and play us. Uh, we had a, uh, a team from Allentown come play us uh, a couple of months back when the weather was, you know, warm enough to play outside. So, you know, it's, it's just, uh, we started this club you know, five years ago. Now it's kind of taken um, a step forward and people have heard about it through our website, through other people coming and playing and they've contacted us. And that since we are growing, it's good to have people like you who are interested in sports and tr- interested in learning new things and uh, kind of advertising it for helping us out uh, in reaching out to the community and other, uh, you know, young kids saying, come learn the sports. Um, you know, we are here to help you out. We're here to teach you um, and just have fun. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Naveed, how about the, the big time of year for cricket? You know, people talk about the World Series or the Super Bowl. Um, is there a cycle of cricket that goes? Is there like a, a World Cup or Olympics or anything like that? Talk about the, the time of year where you guys maybe get together to watch uh, some of the big matches, I guess, in cricket. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a World Cup coming up in March. Uh, one of the format, like I was saying, you know, there are different key formats. There's a five-day game or a 50-over match and a 20-over match. There's actually a 20-over, uh, which is called a T20, uh, is being played. There's a World Cup of T20 coming up in this year in March. And uh, if I'm not wrong, it's being played in India. And, and there'll be a big buzz. I mean, I mean, ESPN actually now covers cricket. So people might be surprised, but uh, if, you're a lo- if you watch it, uh, ESPN regularly, you'll hear bits and bits about uh, cricket being mentioned over there, especially when the World Cup starts in March. Um, you know, ESPN will be advertising it, uh, ESPN will be following it, and you will hear about it uh, a lot. And there'll be a lot of us in the uh, people who are interested in cricket. So we, like you know, a lot of uh, other sports-loving guys over here and cricket-loving guys, we kind of uh, make it a point to gather at one place and watch the games together. There's rivalry, of course. If India is playing Pakistan, that's a big thing. That's one of the biggest rivalry in cricket, uh, India-Pakistan games or Australia-England game. Uh, those are big rivalries. So it's fun. It, like any other sport, right? I'm an Eagles fan as well. So I don't like, you know, going the next day if a giant team beats us. <laughs> I don't like going to work. Yeah. But it's kind of similar. <laughs> so, but, but it's fun. You know, it's all for the fun. It's all for sports. And uh, uh, But yeah, the, the, there's a World Cup coming up. Uh, and we have different... Uh, there's another 50 over World Cup that's probably coming in, I think, in 2017. But there are different tournaments. There are different, uh, there's a called a, um, you know, Asia Cup or some different, there are different, uh, sort of tournaments being played around, played around all year, um, to keep it, you know, kind of something happening throughout the year. 
Well, now, Veed, you, you've really uh, you taught me a lot in a short amount of time, the last 14 minutes or so. I've learned a lot about the game of cricket. I want to learn a little bit more, and I'm sure there's some people out here in northeastern Pennsylvania that want to learn more about it. Of course, uh, we're showing everybody uh, where they can find out more about the cricket here in northeastern Pennsylvania right now. Uh, now, Veed, I want to thank you so much for your time and uh, the very best in the in the game that you love, cricket, all right? But thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it, you know? Naveed Ahmad here on the John Mandola Show as we talk about the game of cricket in northeastern Pennsylvania. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.